Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can split the file so you can analyze uh, based on gender, or in this case, is uh, he's talking about sex, male and female, okay, is how he's classified it. So the very first thing you want to do is you want to go up here to data, and you want to scroll all the way down to split file, and you're going to organize the output by groups, all right, and then you're going to move sex of concert goer into groups, and then you're going to click OK. This is going to tell me up here in my log that I've split the file and I'm separating it by sex. So I can go back here to analyze, I can go to descriptives, I go back to explore, and I'm going to just do hygiene day one. I'm going to move that into the dependent list and I'm going to do sex as my factor. Okay, so whatever you, however you're splitting the file, that's the one that's got to go there. So it could be based on your different leaders, it could be based on your different schools, different positions. And you're going to do your statistics just like we've done. That's all good right there. We're going to go to plots, and we want normality plots with test. We're going to click continue, and our options. We in this case, I'm going to I'm going to leave this here because we're only doing day one, and there's 800 and something scores. So we're good right there. So we're going to click continue, and we're going to click OK. All right, so now we've got the sex of the concert goer is male. This is our data. I've got 315 males. Here's my descriptive stats, and here's my test of normality. So here it is greater than 0.05, which means our data for our males is normal. And we scroll down. It's also your stem and leaf plot tells you it's normal, but also our QQ plot, our dots are pretty much on the line, so that's a good thing. We're going to scroll down. We've got a few outliers up there. Uh, and you're going to go down to females. We had 495 females. Here's our descriptives. Oh, and it's less than 0.05, so it's telling us that this data is not normal. All right, so it looks kind of normal. And so you see a little bit of skewness because it kind of looks like an S. All right, and so you can then um, look at your data by splitting the file. The very, very important thing is once you have done this, make sure you go back to data, go back to split file, and you want to. You want to select this, put it all the way back, and analyze all your cases and click OK because when you start analyzing your data further, and it's going to analyze it by split file. So you want to put it all together unless you want to analyze it in different ways.